At 42, having a 65 winning streak is no small feat. Sinchai has given new meanings to the phrase age is just a number. It is unbelievable how the man could rule the ring even at 42. Hit me once. Oh, that's like a that ref from Sunshine. Oh, oh sweet. Sun oh, oh, down he goes again. He's holding his own so far. Corner. Oh, down he goes again. Something to the body. He may not have the raw strength, but what he possesses is seen in no other fighter. He has the genius fight IQ that others only miss. Physical power and agility combined with that lethal fight IQ make him almost unconquerable. With 65 winning streaks, no one has a record like him in combat sports history. He is still doing what others have never done before. His skills, humility, and showmanship are above all others. This video is a tribute to a 42-year-old Senshai, the god of Muay Thai. We will see how he is still able to knock out people in an effortless manner. We will show you why the man is a king of kings, an unformidable man you don't want to share a ring with as an opponent. A bout with a much younger Ali could turn either way, but Senshai has a winning streak he couldn't allow to disrupt. Ali tried an offensive game and was not there to take all these punches and kicks. However, Senshai was way too experienced to be undermined or even affected by his game. Ali's plan to play offensive won't work with Senshai. The first round was fairly even, with Ali looking enthusiastic early on in the second round, trying his kicks and boxing talent. But a left-hand punch and right knee from Senshai right when Ali was defending his head proved fatal. Senshai sees, <laughs> he sees that left hand and then that left body, that oh, oh my goodness. Goodness. The powerful knee almost broke Ali's ribs. He was all curled in pain. Even a younger opponent failed to disrupt Senshai's composure or game. Nobody can disrupt his winning streak, not at this point in his career. It looks like a 42-year-old Senshai was becoming more lethal. But for how long will an aging Senshai continue taking down his hunts? Alan Yanni was also ready to give Senshai a tough time, but few could escape Senshai's precision in the ring. Allen proved himself to be much more resilient and skilled in the ring, handling Sa Owenchai's high kicks with precision as the first round ended. He's holding his own so far. Trying to go for a high kick there, Sanchai, but a good evasion by Alan Shodi. He even succeeded with some of his moves as the first round ended. More than a mere defensive approach was needed. He needed to put the game's tempo higher with round two. The superiority of Senshai was obvious. He was after him, blocking his way and preventing him from running. A wheel kick from Senshai always entertains his audience. By the end of the second round, Allen was almost bewildered, but he was coping well. Allen even put Senshai in defensive mode, which was an achievement. But soon the third round proved to be Senshai's show. He had too much on his cards. And the moment the third round was over, there was no doubt that Senshai was the winner. Beautiful switch kick there from the legend. End of the third and final round. Beautiful display of Muay Thai actually from both fighters. I really enjoyed that one. It's another winning streak for a 42-year-old. It looks like fate was definitely on his side, but was it fate or was he writing it himself? The fight was awesome, but wait until you watch our next pick. Those who claim that Senchai fights with lesser fighters should watch this Muay Thai bout. One was already an established fighter, not just a newbie, and this match could turn either way. The match proved to be a sensational thriller. Everyone may have expected an easier win for Senshai, but one proved otherwise. Senshai shot the left-hand windmill right to the midsection of the Vietnamese fighter. Wen was trying his best to do some damage with kicks. <laughs> He had the strategy to slow Sinchai with legwork, but with Sinchai, that never worked. As the fight entered the third round, both fighters had a chance. A showman like Sinchai always manages to lessen the tension in the ring with his funny shots. A kick on his butt right when Wen was trying a high kick couldn't even stop Wen from smiling. Uh, <laughs> The performance of the Vietnamese fighter was commendable, but the decision was in Senshai's favor. It was a close call, and one didn't make it easier for him, 
But Senchai was far ahead in his technical game. If these fights were not enough, a bout with Muhammad Khalil was another three-round match that could turn either way. Muhammad Khalil was 28 years old and had 40 wins on his record. Would a 42-year-old Senchai overcome him in the ring? With his youth and energy, Khalil tried being aggressive, but that won't help for a fighter like Senchai. He may be aging, but his technical excellence was on par. Khalil showed some impressive legwork and came with impressive punches and kicks, as if desperate to prove himself. But his every move was well countered by the experienced Senchai. Senchai was in control. The boxer was hit and thrown like a pawn. The match continued for three rounds. Senchai delivered timely shots on the face, kicked right in the midsection, and was able to throw him helplessly on the ground. As always, after the three rounds, the judges favored Senchai. A 42-year-old Senchai outclassed Khalil completely. The fight was awesome, but a fight with Elite Hong Kong proved more entertaining. Elite Hong Kong was in high spirits, ready to write his name in history by fighting the Muay Thai King. But Senchai was way too ahead in his game. Hong Kong's aggression only fueled his excellence. His shots were precise, putting him flat on the canvas. Hong Kong delivered his own boxing game. Hong Kong delivered a kick that Senchai not only caught, but hurled him on the ground. Hit me once. Oh, that high kick and that ref from Senchai. Oh! Yeah, full sweep from Senchai. Hong Kong trying to push kick back up again, but... Uh... He stood up instantly, but couldn't survive the next kick. A knockout at this stage was unbelievable. But anything can happen from Muay Thai King Senchai. It proved to be fatal and devastating for young Hong Kong, but surely he was able to write his name with the legend. A fight with Danilo Reis was a play of his game without showing any aging signs. Danilo Reis was in high spirits and started with kicks. With a fighter of Senchai's stature, it was not taken well. That triggered a chain reaction. Kicks, punches, elbows. Danilo was soon on the ground. He was wobbly from the head kick. Senchai was out with his offensive game and Danilo was backing up. He was almost toying with him. Elbow, another elbow, and even Senchai was amused and spared him the third one. Soon Senchai backed him to the corner. Reese. Senchai backing him up into that corner. Oh, down he goes again. Something to the body. I wasn't even aware of what happened. A hook to the body right on the liver and Danilo was on the floor all curled up with pain. The fight is just another testament to how Senchai can still knock out people. It was an easy one. It was a victory in the first round. Senchai may have crossed 40s, but he can still appear like a 20-year-old in the ring. He may have advanced in age, but so have his skills, fight IQ, and precision. His humble gesture, ever-smiling face, and technical finesse make him a legend. His critics may console themselves by saying he takes up lesser fighters, but the fight we mentioned in this video showed his class. Each fight was a testament to his glory and skills. For how long he will continue to knock out people in the ring, only time will tell. Fighters like Senchai prove they can rule the ring regardless of age with their excellent performance. Watch how another legendary fighter, Lyoto Matida, knocked out people in his 40s. Stay with us for more inspiring stories from Muay Thai and MMA rings.